hello everyone this is mp so this is another video in vb scripting series so in this video we gonna cover a advanced topic which is called connection to the database and from database we gonna fetch the values from the table with the help of query and uh, we will also understand how the objects are working and we will make a uh, OL, oledb oldb uh, uh, object and with the help of that object we gonna connect to the sql database and i'll show you how we can read that it is very very easy all right so let's get started all right let's start it here firstly we gonna a set an object connection which is object 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 connection and oh, we gonna pass this uh, we gonna set this variable and then we will say create object which is uh, already available in the VB script and uh, so object connection so what kind of object we have to create it is object there are a lot of other objects as well so slowly gradually i will also make the videos on that one as well but firstly let's talk about this database object so this is uh, called a d o d b dot connection and then we are gonna set this object equals to record set so this is also a variable create object of what type we will pass OTP dot record set so you guys have to exactly write like this the way I am writing it so we will understand let's uh, write it first so this will be our connection string equals to so in this one one is the provider so who's the provider that is a s q l o l e d b okay and what is the server name so you can put your server name i am just copying my server name all right so this we might eliminate here and put a semicolon here okay so this is our connection string and uh, so after the connection string we'll say object connection string object and then we gonna open that connection open dot con string all right so this is we gonna copy same here or we'll make a name so here we're gonna pass the connection string to that so that it can the object can open the connection and then we have to pass the query now so what can be query string query so this is another variable and here we will write a query to your table 
so if you don't know about the database so please do some research or actually i am assuming that you guys already know the how the queries work and what is database is about so this is purely for the automation guys for software automation using qtp tool or uft tool so here we gonna have this record set and then that connection we gonna open and uh, we gonna pass the sql query sql query we gonna pass this query comma object connection we gonna copy the object connection now we will have string and we gonna put the do while loop record set dot end of fields then we gonna put the value here rs dot fields dot items and here we can also put the name of what what uh, what is the column name so that we gonna provide here then we gonna do the string equals to string and we gonna concatenate with the value so that it will have all the values and then we gonna move okay let's do that later loop and here we gonna put the message box and the string and after that we gonna close the connection so this is the very simple code to get the values from the data table guys so in my case let me show you what the database look like so in my case the database is look like six so this is the table within the database so i want to um, read the values which is these one module names and these values will be uh, read by my record set which is in pp scripting okay so let me write that let me put the table name value here module name okay so this module name it will automatically fetch from the record set whatever it will found here you can also <clears throat> get a particular module name but here i am getting the whole table and then i am taking the value only taking the value of module names okay so let's see how it work invalid connection attribute oh guys my bad here i put the server two times okay so that is where the problem came okay so run the script save it and run it it is not showing anything so why it is not showing here we have to so guys when it is getting the getting the uh, all the record set so this is a record set right so this is a kind of end of the line so until it's not end of the line this uh, loop will still running okay end of the file or whatever you can s call it so here what we have to do before the loop is going on as you know that do while loop is not incrementing the values so that's why we are not getting anything 
so we have to move it rs dot move to the next okay and here for our convenient we can add a vb new line just to differentiate it correctly okay so let's save it and run it uh, now what happened uh, oh my bad what I'm doing so I have to put that value here instead of that save it now you see all the values from the database is coming exactly same how beautiful it is and let me show you another thing so it is not like you can get only this item value you can get all the values so what do you have to do you just have to make another fields and here we gonna give the value okay, let's this value should be like that and then here we can say mode underscore id and then created date and then next one is active all right so here we have to change the value let's give this a value one two three four you can give some nice values so here we can concatenate it string equals to value one and then we can say and and we will give some space to differentiate and then again and and then well two then and and give some space and then well three and give some space here well four all right so looks very good and then we will run it all right guys see it is coming exactly same so it is working correctly and another thing guys here you can also give the value zero not in parentheses i mean quotes so here you can also pass the index so still it will work same way but i think the names are more convenient so that you may know like what is happening and it always start the index is always start from zero as i told you before so double click here oh what happened oh somehow i removed the value okay well four see it is working exactly same exactly same all right guys so this is pretty much it for this video so we can also talk about some file objects i'll show you how you can work with that but this was very easy so this will be very very useful while you will start learning the uh, uft or qtp for software automation testing so stay tuned i'll, I'll come with another video thank you guys bye, -bye.